This is a video showing what a cone beam CT looks like in the varying software. So I've started with the patient already loaded and I'm going to select the cone beam CT field and click mode up. What this does is it sends information over to the OBI workstation where I click 3D 3D match and this is going to close the OBI program and open up cone beam CT which is a separate program. Right now I have a full fan filter in the beam because I'm going to do a 200 degree cone beam CT which is the default for heads. So I'll click acquire new scan, select a high quality head, um, leave my diameter the same, um, full fan which is in there and I'll do 384 by 384 2 millimeter um, again all the defaults. Click next and it walks you through everything. Click start scan and it says make sure your full fan is in there, which it is. It says enable gantry or couch movement using Clinet console. That means it wants to move the gantry to the starting position. And so all I do is I hold motion enable and go. In this case it's 22 degrees. Uh, OBI workstation now tells me ready to CT, press foot switch and enable gantry movement. So I'm going to hold down the foot switch or the finger and push motion enable and go and you can see it's now taking a cone beam CT of the rando phantom. Again high quality head gives about two centigrade dose and it only goes underneath the patient so that way it avoids lens dose which was an issue in earlier versions of OBI. Acquisition takes about 30 seconds because the gantry is rotating a little over 180 degrees and it's done. So now it finishes up the reconstruction, shows you a picture of everything. You can change the window level if you want. It has um, built-in presets and then when you're happy accept and export scan. The nice thing about Cone Beam CT is the 3D 3D automatic matching works extremely well. It's uh, very hard to miss. So here it's loading in the Cone Beam CT and the reference CT. So this is the window that pops up immediately. We can change the slice we're on and all three views. Um, obviously you can change views very easily. Here we can do a auto match 3D. It will give us several options. You can see the red region of interest box. I could, I don't want rotation. Um, I can choose just the brain ROI plus maybe 2CM and margin and tell it to go and you can see it immediately snaps into a very good um, shift. I can check that using spyglass which you can see this fan is aligning extremely well and you can spyglass in all three areas. You can see I can't, I, my cone beam CT didn't quite get the full head. It goes up there and down to about the lips but it's very good. Now when you click apply shift which is 0 0.6, negative 1, 0 0.8 again send your new couch coordinates over to the console and that's all there is to cone beam CT. Afterwards you click done can apply your new couch coordinates for the session or permanently and then load your treatment field and start delivering.